Hey guys, it's Mitch here. Um, so this episode is going to be uh, a quick little one on uh, how to do a standing experience. So if you're familiar with the Vive, you know standing experiences are pretty easy. It's The default is to set up for a standing experience. Um, but for the Rift, the default is actually for a seated experience, at UE4 that is. Uh, so to get things started, we'll firstly just create a new uh, pawn and just call it standing pawn. And as you can see, I've just created like a little ruler here to see if our um, tests are working. So I'm just going to double click on this and open up the editor. So uh, first things first, we're going to set this up how we'd set up any other VR pawn in uh, UE4. So I'm just going to grab a scene component for our camera root. And uh, to note, I'm using uh, 4.11 here, which uh, you'll need for this to work. Okay. I'm just going to have a camera component as well. Chuck that as the child and we're good to go. So if you've seen my intro to the Rift, you'll know that the default tracking space for the Rift, um, the default origin for the tracking space rather, is at uh, one meter in front of the Rift sensor camera. Uh, for the Vive, however, if you see my intro to the uh, Steam VR, you know that the default tracking space for the Vive is uh, zero, zero on the middle of your floor in real world. What's cool, however, though, is um, we can actually switch those around. So uh, for the Vive, we can actually set the default tracking space to be uh, a seated experience. So basically, um, as a default, it will be just inside your soft bounds uh, facing your monitor, but you can set that in the uh, Steam VR setup. And for the Rift, we can actually set it up so the um, tracking origin is actually on the floor, which is cool. Uh, this is only available in the new SDKs, by the way. Uh, so how do we do that? Well, in UE4, there's a node, and it is uh, set tracking origin. And this is basically um, all we need, basically. So uh, for the floor, origin floor level will mean that the origin of our tracking space will be that zero, zero on the floor. So this is the default for the Vive, uh, but it's not for the Rift. So if I just go, um, I'll show you what the default for the Rift looks, at, looks like, actually. I'm just going to save this. And this is just everything's plain. If I chuck this in our level, you see it's already, already on the floor. And I'm just going to uh, auto possess. And then if I hit play, you'll see that my rift is in the floor. And that's because that default tracking space is uh, uh, zero, zero on in front of the camera. So when I'm moving it up, it's uh, acting like a seated experience where it's where we want it to be standing. So if we uh, go here and just on uh, event begin play, we set our tracking origin to be the floor level now. Now we've set up, we never told you before that we want our tracking to all be relative to this zero, zero point. And so now because we have uh, set up our rift correctly, if I move back, you'll see that we're actually off the ground and it acts like it's a vibe basically. So now our, um, our floor level would be um, properly calibrated to our player height and everything works perfectly. Now, if you want to do uh, standing experiences with the Vive, it's automatically set up, so you don't even need to do this uh, set tracking origin. But if you want to do seated experiences with the Vive, you can again just flip, um, flip this around and make it eye level, and then you're doing seated experiences. So yeah, that's just a quick one for today, but um, pretty handy. Uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments, but um, otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.